I'm doing, but I'm ready. <laughs> like, I don't know anything. <laughs> hey! <laughs> what comes to mind when you think of home? Friends? Family? Food? Maybe it's a childhood memory. At Brookfield Residential, we think about home a lot. See, we're home builders, and we look at building homes as an opportunity to enrich people's lives. So, we invited guests into our model homes and asked them to draw what comes to mind when they think of home. Because as we build the best places to call home, we want to know what home means to you. So today we're going to talk about home. Home. A home or home? Only one thing. All right, let's take a paper and pencil and draw what comes to mind when you think of home. I already know what I'm going to draw. Okay, Stick draw figures? Stick figures work? Yeah. yeah. Can I use these? So I just go? Yeah. OK. Awesome. I hope y'all aren't grading this. I do a lot of coloring these days. Ooh, these little stick people. <laughs> <laughs> I did a house with a heart around it. Because when I'm at my house, my sister and my mom and my dad and my dogs and cat love me, and that just makes me feel special and unique. So this is my family. This is my husband, Scott, and my little girl, Zoe, and this is Lucy. They're my home. Home is where your people are, you know? It's my husband. He's my favorite. He's, he's home. I, we can go anywhere, and he makes every spot home. This is the back of the ranch house where I spend a lot of time on the weekends. Good friends of mine own the property, and we raise and breed white-tailed deer. This is my mom and my dad. This is me. This is my sister. I messed up on my hands, but I turned them into ducks. <laughs> this drawing is of my family. I got my wife, my baby, and my dog, and my home. My house is often called the house of hope because I have lived on the streets homeless. Really? Uh -huh. So I try and make my home a home where people can come and feel comfortable, regardless of where they are in life. Getting together with family means everything to me. And no better way to come together than to eat together. Food is just the center of every gathering at my family's. A home is a place with my dog and my mom. This house, I lived here for about three years, and what made our house so distinct was that she had these short fences that were half cut off so everyone could see what was going in our backyard. I don't care if you're purple, gay, non-religious. She was like, I love you more than there are grains of sand. I didn't feel accepted in a country town because I was gay. To know that my mom accepts me for who I am means a lot. My mom always said, when we have guests over, you treat them as family, because I would want them to do the same with you. A house is a box, but a home is what you value in yourself and the people that get to spend that with you. You know, a bed's a bed, a bed is a bed. And that doesn't have to be home. It's making sure that whoever is in that house with you is who you love. We didn't know if we would be able to have children. A doctor told me that I was infertile and it would be hard for us to get pregnant. It's a part of what makes our house feel like a home is to have them running around and be able to do things with them. And we didn't know if we would be able to have that. So yeah, it's, um, it's close to my heart to say that they're home to me. They're, it, it goes really deep. Growing up with my father was always creating and crafting. And every piece of furniture that we have for our house is made by the hands of me, my husband, and my dad. And so it's just the best to just go out to a garage and just work on wood and have just the family there. He is, always will be my hero. He is um, one of my best friends. Um, sorry, I'm tearing up. These questions are deep. Yes. <laughs> Home is a place where you're free to be yourself 
where you're free to make not funny jokes, where you're free to laugh and have fun, where you're free to cry, and where your family is. Yeah. And that you're nice and funny and you care about me when I'm hurt. <laughs> we do a lot of stuff out there. We do a uh, inner city youth hunt where we have 14 to 16 kids come out and spend four days out there and teach them about the outdoors and leaving their phones and TVs away and spending time out in the field. To be able to be a part of something, to open up and see some enjoyment, that's why we do it. You know, you could have drawn your home in Austin with your family and you drew this place instead. So yeah. Why? I didn't realize we were going to get this deep into it. I'm sorry. Um, the friend of mine that owned it um, uh, best friend for probably 20 years um, passed away two years ago. He didn't want any recognition, just wanted to uh, help other people. So now um, his son and I do it, instead of all three of us. So. At first I drew a box because when I was a little boy, we moved a lot. So whenever I wanted to feel comforted, I would build like a really tiny house and, you know, I'd invite my friends over and build a community inside of a little box. I think a house is the structure and the home is everything in it. It's the people, it's the memories, it's the good, the bad, it's everything. We just moved from Houston and that will always be the home where Grace was born and where her first nursery was. When Grace is your age, what do you hope she says home was to her? You're killing me. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know, just... <laughs> I just want to be happy. I would say home is everything. When you have a home, you don't need anything else. A home is the place that you can feel comfortable and loved. Home is a place where I feel safe. Home is a place where love is born. My husband and girls are my home. Home is a spiritual place for me. Home is the one place that I want to be and the last place I want to leave. So there you have it. It turns out the right way to think of home is your way, which is why our diverse portfolio of homes is designed just for you. Because at the end of the day, we build the house and you make it a home. And we're drawn to that. Brookfield Residential, building homes with heart.